Despite the power of Iceland's Reykjanes eruption decreasing on Tuesday, nature was still putting on a show. The two and a half mile long fissure continuing to spew lava up to 330 feet into the air. The evacuated town of Grindavik lies under two miles away, but volcanologist Dave McGarvey told Reuters the lava flow should avoid the area. At the moment, it's not say uh, one can't be certain where the lava is going to flow, but it looks like it will go more towards the north and west and perhaps the south and east, and those are good directions for the town of Grindavik. Recent inactivity had raised hopes the 4,000 residents might return home. Hans Vera, a Belgian who has lived in Iceland since 1999, isn't so sure now. Although it's just erupting in the north part of it, I probably they probably think. Um, there's a chance that it opens up somewhere else and then it's going to be closer to Grindavik. So I don't see that in the near future they, they will let people get close to Grindavik. So we are back in uh, the waiting game. This Icelandic Coast Guard flight over the ripped landscape just hours after it burst the Earth's surface shows lava fountains sending magma and smoke hundreds of feet into the air. Officials worry gas pollution could spread to the capital Reykjavik late on Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning. So it's very early days yet, but I think over the next two or three days, things will become much clearer. In 2010, ash clouds from eruptions at the Eärfjell Tela Akato volcano in the south of Iceland spread over large parts of Europe, grounding tens of thousands of flights in Europe and beyond. But experts say this time limited ash is being released, quelling fears of a repeat with no disruption so far. These tourists are already making the most of the new natural wonder. It's a once in a lifetime for us, so yeah. we don't want to miss that. Scientists say seismic activity could continue for several months.